It's a fresh look for the Dons. It's Josh is here with us now. Josh, give us your reaction for signing for AFC Wimbledon. No, listen, I'm, I'm delighted we got it done early. Um, obviously, the season only ended last week, so it shows the club's interest. And obviously, I'm wanting to be on board and get in with the lads as soon as pre-season starts. Um, so, you yeah, know, it's great. How did you become aware of Wimbledon's interest and how did the move progress from there? Um, I knew there was interest um, back from maybe end of last season. Um, but I also knew um, the assistant manager, Terry Skibberton, as well. Um, he was in contact with me and my representatives. Um, so we kind of knew the move was coming around and then I met with the manager. And I think within the first five, ten minutes, I knew this is, this is a place I really wanted to come to. Um, especially I've played here twice in the cup and in the league. Um, I've got a few friends here as well who are doing really well. And, yeah, no, listen, it was, it was great. What appealed to you about the move to come here as well? What have the management said that they, they want from you from this move? Oh, I think it's a young and hungry team. I think the position that ended last year is not where they want to be going next year. Um, obviously, the club have come down from League One and we've got desires to get back there. Um, the way they play is they want to win ball high up, which is perfect for my game, especially as a quick attacker player. Um, they want to give the ball to the wingers. Um, and everything about the club, especially like the history of the club as well, it appeals a lot. I've got to ask as well, of course, thoughts on leaving Luton? No, I think it's, um, I said I've been there 12 years, so it was always going to be hard to leave. But I think now it's time for me to kind of kick on in my career. And Wimbledon is a great place to come, especially given what they've done with their young talents over the last few years in terms of Jack Radoni and Ayuba Sal, who obviously got great moves. Um, so for me, this is probably one of the best places I can come, especially knowing a couple of the players and knowing some of the management staff as well, which I think will help me settle in a lot better. Um, and I think that's the type of, type of thing as a football club people want to replicate um, coming up from National League to the almost brink of the Premier League within the last 10 years. So I think this is the type of things that this club want to look at in terms of building each year, going on league by league, so um, no, it's a great place to be. You mentioned you've worked with a couple of people in the past, I think it's our head of football operations, Craig Cope at Solihull Moors, and of course Terry Skiverton at Yeovil Town as well. How, what was the working relationship like with them? No, I think um, I met Terry when I was around 19, and Craig when I was 18, um, and I think when I was with Terry when I was 19 I learned a lot um, from him as a person, how he was as a character, because obviously he played for the football club, and he helped me on and off the pitch in terms of like little things around like recovery and what to look at and who to be around to kind of improve your game. And then on the pitch he also helped me a lot as well with my positional play, even though he was a centre half, his positional play as well helped me a lot. Um, and then it was a big influence in coming here as well, um, helped me out a lot. And Ali Ahmadi, um, a good friend of mine as well, and he's come in and done really well. Um, he also kind of influenced me in terms of coming here. Um, given what he's done this season, I think he hasn't. He didn't really score my, many goals before he came here, and as he's kind of hit the ground running straight away from January, I think he's ten goals and fifteen starts. So it's, it's good stats. Um, and as a forward player, you look at them type of things in terms of young players doing well at the club, and he's obviously looking to kick on this season as well. So that it'll be great to be in around them as well. Absolutely. I mean, you can play up front, but you can also play as a right back, though. Tell me a little bit about the strong points of your game. Yeah, I can play. I can play a few different positions, um, more or less wherever I'm told to play. But as long as I, I can help out the team, um, but I think my attributes, given powerful, pacey, and athletic, and a lot, a lot of energy, playing left wing, right wing, up front, right back, it can help the team out. Um, given how we want to play this season anyway, pressing and winning the ball back and being young, athletic and hungry, that's uh, good to be a part of that in terms of what I can bring. We played against us three times last season for Sutton United. Yeah. You had the edge over us on a couple of occasions in the league games. Yeah. Um, what impressed you about Wimbledon though? I think when we come here, I think when we come out of the tunnel, I don't think we kind of expected to have the type of atmosphere of the derby but, um, as it was. I think obviously they were in League One the season before, so the players didn't really experience the derby and what it was like. Um, I think that obviously where I was at Sutton, the stadium's nothing compared to this, and the atmosphere and the amount of fans we'll get is, is totally different. And you can tell it from then that they're passionate fans, and I think 
even we had the home game against Wimbledon, how the amount of fat away fans they brought, showed the type of passion the football club has had. I think that's given the history of the football club and what they're about. Um, and then I think we played them in the cup as well, which was obviously a tough. I think it was one nil. It was a tough, tough, um, tough game. I think they kind of read us how how we'd play, and they they come out all guns blazing. Um, but yeah, now every everything since I've come here and played against them, they've come. They've been a real outfit. So I think that's kind of what impressed me about the club. But that's something you're a part of. That that was a good group of players. Next yeah. season, League Two is going to be even tougher by the looks of it. Yeah. What kind of qualities do you need to succeed in League Two? I think League Two is about getting a good spine and a good base. Um, obviously, I think over the course of the seasons, that's that's what you'll need in terms of the players and the characters you've got around the change change room. I think obviously you need young players, but you also need that experience in the core of your group. I think being at Luton for so long, I've kind of seen over the years how that's that's um, benefited Luton in terms of they're going from League One, League Two to League One to Championship, and where they are now is that they've always had good characters around the training training ground and in the change room. I think when we were in League Two, we had um, we had such a good group of professionals in terms of what they've done day to day and then the manager as well. Um, so that's more or less in League Two. That's what you need. You need to to know how to win games. I think if you look at um, the teams around in the round of playoffs this season, they they can do both sides of the game. They can be nasty and they can they can play good football as well, which is what I think next season what we need to be looking to do. Um, and then obviously it's the consistency of going away to wherever you're going away, and if you're taking a point or things like that and get points on the table, um, I think that's key, and especially getting to where we want to get to next season. Just finally for yourself as well, Josh. I mean. You're at a good stage in your career, early 20s, two-year deal with Wimbledon now. How important is this move for you at this stage in your career? Yeah, I think it's vital. I think at the stage I'm at now, it'll be my first move away from Luton as such rather than having a loan. Um, and it's good to like get in and around the group and show what I'm about and then obviously help the club kick on as well as I'm fully a part of the club now rather than just being a loan player. Um, and that's why for two years I can, I can do that and can put on my all for, for the club. Um, and that's why I think getting the right club was key. It wasn't just taking, biting the hand at anything, it was getting the right club as well and having the right people around.